The head of the FBI is issuing an unsettling warning about the threat of terror attacks in the U.S. FBI Director Christopher Wray saying that in the current climate of the Israel-Hamas war, he has not seen this level of terror threat since the days before 9-11. Ray saying what makes the current climate unique is that, quote, so many of the threats are all elevated at the same time. He's also calling for the renewal of a surveillance program that essentially allows the government to collect the communications of certain targeted individuals without a warrant. I want to bring in former FBI special agent and News Nation Law and Justice contributor Jennifer Koffendoffer to talk more about this. Jennifer, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me, Natasha. So let's talk about this, Jennifer. FBI Director Christopher Wray saying that he has never seen so many elevated terror threats here in the U.S. at the same time. Where specifically are these threats coming from? Are you tracking? And is it fair to solely attribute this to the Israel-Hamas war? Well, these threats are coming from information that is gleaned via FISA's as well as international communique that are forwarded then to the FBI, basically what we call chatter, as well as other information from sources from both sides of the water, right, from overseas and from here in the United States. This should be taken so seriously. Uh, around 9-11, uh, chatter was up, but he stressed that this is lights in all different areas, which is really concerning. As far as whether it can be attributed directly to the conflict in Israel, definitely I think that has heightened uh, the situation as what is compelling this. Is there a specific foreign adversary that you feel we are not paying enough attention to or poses the most threat at this time? Certainly Al-Qaeda and ISIS, because they are sitting back in the wings as people are focused on Hezbollah and on Hamas. And while they are huge threats, they're not the threats that Al-Qaeda and uh, uh, ISIS are here in the U.S. Furthermore, the lone wolf threat just cannot be uh, taken too lightly at all. And these are individuals that really have the ideology, the jihad uh, individuals who are very upset with the Palestinian situation in terms of the death toll and so on that's going on there that can use these reasons to uh, it, it, to start what they call jihad here. All right, Jennifer, we don't have much time, but this is an important question because Ray is calling for the reauthorization of Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, saying there will be devastating consequences if it is not reinstated. Explain what it allows the government to do and why are civil liberties groups so up in arms about this? Well, they're so up in arms because they think by using these particular FISA uh, uh, avenues that people who are innocent are going to be targeted, and that's just not the situation. This would allow for government officials, particularly the FBI, to overhear, uh, communique without particular warrant uh, justifications that would normally be required. It basically does a bit of a shortcut in these very dangerous situations where they meaning the FBI get information about these groups that are operating and that may attack us. Okay, Jennifer Koffendoffer, always appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.